Okay, it's April 16th, and we've got, uh, that's Tom, your faithful secretary there, and Electronics Wizard, and this is Terry Morgan's uh, RFP40 Warhawk, and it's got electric motor on it. First electric, actually, the second electric motor installation I ever did in my life. But anyway, um, so this is the first test run. And so, So were you able to get the timer fixed? No. Well, I got a, I got a watch with a large face on if it. I, if we got, what's more important is we're going to have this, uh, or yeah, maybe go ahead and, yeah, just to see how long you run it, but it's not a full battery to begin with. I know with, it so isn't. It's not really great. So, whenever you're ready, I'll put this on. Okay. I need a number of minutes here. Oops. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You got a stopwatch? Yeah. Okay. And a watch like that, you should. Yeah. Should. Okay. Maybe stand out of the line of fire. Yeah, no shit. You said it was 3.5. I thought you said you That's said. That's less than two minutes. Regis, originally said 3.5, then you correct yourself. You said it's supposed well, to be three, actually 2.5. Well, that's before you damage cells. But, um, oh. 3.85 3. is a good storage voltage. Oh. A lot of people fly down to 3.2. Oh, okay. But you're going to see power reduction already there and stuff. And dude, that's so hot. Is it even warm? Yeah. This is a little bit warm. Battery's cool. This this ESC is a little bit warm, but it's just a yeah, little bit warm. Not, the motor's not even hot. Yeah, yeah, it's not a big deal. So the ESCs actually are more under load and are low throttle conditions because uh, the way it was, I read that they were described that they operate. They uh -huh. don't. Um, it's not like a variable resistor. They're they're kind of digital. They're either fully open or fully closed. Oh, really? I and see. So what happens is if they run a full throttle, it's like the windows open all the time. Oh. And then the more the slower you get, the more they're closed. I see. I see. And by okay. doing right. that, then they're they'll actually heat up more under lower so, theoretically, unless they're open. So this looks like it's okay then. Yeah, but it sure sucked that down. Oh, look, it's bouncing back up to three point eight now already. So to me, this battery is kind of. Uh, You'll be flying along and all of a sudden, holy shit, where's all the power gone? And you'll land and, oh, I got good voltage. What's wrong with that? That's the kind of stuff that happens. So that's when I remember I said three minute flight time. We'll be lucky to get three minutes, it looks like, right now. 
because that was less than two minutes when it was reading 3.2 And minutes. how much of a charge did it have? What percentage? It said 90%, because it was around, it was a little under 4.1. Right now it's saying 62%. It, look, it's bouncing back all the way up to 3.9 now. Really? Yeah. Yes. I don't know, it just... Terry was a little skeptical that maybe some of the stuff that he got from this guy wasn't all that great. Well, that seems like the motor and the speed control are good. The battery, just who knows what it's been through, how old it is. It yeah. could just be old. Oh, I see. Maybe he took great care of it, but it's just old and, oh. you know, a little puffy. Which I, I hardly have any puffy batteries. I can imagine. Yeah. Picky as you are about everything. Yeah. So, everything works. And the battery's down to a storage charge now, is it? Well, you don't know. Not really. It Not back really. up to 3.95. So what? The... Yeah, we can run it some more. And... Okay. Let's see. Seven minutes left. We have in the battery here. Seven minutes left. On right here. Seven five three eight five of red is good storage charge. Huh. I'll be so, damned. 